Hey guys, your Wi-Fi stinks. I'm gonna show you two easy ways on how you can get that fixed. Hang on for me. Hey guys, welcome back to the Tire Dad Tech. My name is Steve. Uh, welcome back to, to the channel. Uh, today we're gonna to look at a couple of uh, real easy tips that you can do uh, at home to help improve your wireless signal. Uh, everybody's buying more powerful routers these days. Uh, the first thing they do is, is if their Wi-Fi stinks, they go and buy a brand new Wi-Fi router and it's just you know, super powerful, great range. And the problem with that is you run into a situation where now everybody has, has, has one and it's kind of ca counterintuitive to what you think it's gonna do. And let me show you why. I have a little application here called Wi-Fi Analyzer. And unfortunately, Apple guys, I'm sorry, but this is uh, Android only. Uh, also, I don't have an iPhone home here to try that. So uh, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to be using this. I'm sure iTunes has an app similar for you Apple guys. Now, I fire this thing up. The first thing we see, boom, is everybody. What do you do with all this inf information? The important thing to note is I'm here. This is mine. I'm the I'm the um, the red loop that says Smooth 99. That is my router that is in my basement. There is a lot of other people on that as well. So if you look at the bottom here, those are the those are the channels. Looks like channel six is getting kind of crowded. Maybe I should move over to channel eight. Maybe I should move closer to channel four. I can do that in my in my router settings right now, and I'll show you how to do that next. Okay, so here we are on the main page of my router configuration. Everybody's router is gonna look a little bit different, but they generally have the same kind of information displayed. So for my particular model, uh, this is what my page looks like. Now, I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna click on the wireless settings, and look at this, the very first thing I can change is my channel. For this model, it says control channel. So what we can do is we can click on here, we can actually read it. It says the radio channel for wireless connection operation. So it's safe to assume that this is what is displayed on our, uh, from, from our previous information that we use. So now my channel is a little weird. Mine is, the ASUS is a little strange to where even though it comes up on channel six, I pick control channel eight. So there's an interesting thing happening here. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna just choose channel three. Now I'm gonna assume that it's gonna move us over a little bit further than three, but still keep us clear. Your router may be different. This particular ASUS model is strange and it did take some playing to get this working right for me. I'm gonna go ahead and, cl and click on apply and it's gonna be on channel, uh, here channel three. And we're gonna take a look at what happened afterwards. So I'm gonna go ahead and sit and apply and we're good to go. Now hang on for me, let's see what happened. All right guys, as you can see here, it looks like it did make the change for me. I did change it from control channel eight to control channel three. So as you can see, my uh, it doesn't exactly line up with what I have here. It looks like I'm on channel five. That's because of the way my particular Wi-Fi router works. I'll show you why. Um, in this particular application, you can also take a look at, let me go over here. If you look at here, you can see where it's here says channel three plus seven for my stuff. Now, I'll say no. Now, your router may behave differently. It may go right to the channel. I'm not sure. But I confirmed that the channel was changed by looking at this graph here. So I'm sitting in a much quieter area. Uh, my Wi Fi uh, should improve slightly since it's not in, um, since my Wi Fi transmissions aren't competing for airspace here. Another one that I just quickly sped over, uh, this is the Wi-Fi signal strength analyzer. You can walk around your house almost like a Geiger counter and see what your signal is like from point to point in your home. Now walk slowly because this needle here, uh, it does take a second or so to catch up. Now the reason it's so high right here is because I'm about five feet from my router. So that's why you see that happening. So these are really the only two things that I use here. If I'm trying to see if my Wi-Fi is dipping in a particular corner of, of the house, I go, I, I go here. If I want to see whose who's router is screaming, and seeing if I can jump into a different band, not to a different band, into a different channel, I'll go here. 
So anyway, I hope this content was helpful. Again, sorry to the Apple fans, uh, as this is um, this is an Android only product. Like I said before, I'm sure there are there are other uh, options for iPhones. Uh, like I said before, I just don't have one to test. That's why I didn't do that. So I apologize if this wasn't complete in that sense. All right, that about wraps it up for today's video. Uh, please leave a like if you liked the video, and if you've got anything else that you guys do at home or in a work environment to help improve Wi-Fi signal, that's cheap, and in this particular case, free. Uh, please leave a comment below and let me know. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel for some more information like, like, like this and other stuff that will appear here and here and maybe here. All right, guys, and as always, I'll see you.